Welcome back everyone, today we're going to be doing another Card Fight Vanguard pack opening, but this time with the Festival Booster 2023. And let's see if this will actually focus. It did, and now let's get down to the table. So, I do actually like these as a product, they provide a lot of good reprints, that reprints are always good, not necessarily for sellers, but for people who actually want to play your game, it's good for people to actually have the cards in order to play them, so that's always a bonus. Um, this is what it comes with, you just have your basic factions, 3 cards per pack, 10 packs per box, which, a little expensive, You're, um, I know I got these ones for like $35, I did get 2 of them, I'm debating on making uh, a pack a day series, like I have been, just, I know those videos don't do the greatest, but they're shorts, it's, I enjoy making them, it's nice, um, uh, Having something to edit each and every day is a little tedious though. So this is it in the box. You don't really care too much about packaging. And then you get your very classic pamphlet. I'm sure if you guys ever bought a case of cards, you have a bunch of those. Okay. So here are the packs. This may come as a shock for you guys, but I'm going to be using scissors. And then, there's another little thing that I like to do. I make sure all the cards are in the bottom of the pack. See? Especially with Vanguard cards. You have that much of the top of the pack that I don't cut. And usually whenever I do use scissors, I cut right along the perforated edge. So, please don't worry. I have never cut a card before. So, let's see what we got for our first pack. Uh, chase cards for these. I'll go ahead and throw up one of the ones that I like. I know Gabby wants some of the Easter editions, so hopefully we get one of those. But we got the Jewel Core Dragon. <laughs> uh, Interpret Spinner. Interpret, yep, Interpret Spinner. Can't speak. And we have a very shiny card. Evergreen Transphere. Sounds pretty cool. I am blind. Oh my gosh. The wording on these is a little hard to make out. I'll try to... Like with the rarity symbol, that is very dark. But not a bad first card. I do have some yellow card sleeves that I want to put these ones in. I just like putting all the shiny cards and card sleeves up because... I don't want them to get damaged. Um, I'll also keep... I'll keep those apart and I'll keep these ones in the stack in case I want to go ahead and price them all out. I know some people enjoy that. Time for the second pack. We have another trigger. Triggers are always great. Tr Chain Light Cluster. Knight of Ardent Light Youth. And then another very shiny card, and I can't read that, to be honest with you. Um, Demonic Lord of Hades Blaze, uh, Baphromedes. Looks like a rare, rare. I'm gonna have to read the box. My apologies. I don't know what the rarities that come in this. Let's get that one sleeved. When do you think I can put those guys back, and then I'll leave these guys in the stack? Let's go back to look. I did not come prepared for this video. I did, haven't done any research on anything. I just seen like some of the promotions. But you will get there are 33 commons, uh, 16 uh, doubles, 12 triple, four over triple rares, and then there are 12 uh, FFRs, double frame rares, and then there are special reissues, which are 39, and then special reissue pluses, which are RE plus, and there's nine types. So. Unfortunately, for any of the Master Set collectors, you will need to purchase a lot of these. Or just buy each one of them. I don't really have the money for that as of the moment. And then we have Accumulation Sage. Then we have her first what appears to be a... RE. With Verena Arcs. One of the decks I am trying to learn how to play is the Trickstar deck. They have a lot of cool cards in that. 
And then we got Dome Airy Best Anya. I think that's how you pronounce that. This is a double rare. And I know Vanguard isn't a very popular game, but I do think it's fun and enjoyable. It's why I keep finding myself coming back to it. I started out playing Yu-Gi-Oh! as a child, and then I dabbled into Pokemon. Never cared for the Pokemon game, really. It was always fun. I just have to... With Yu-Gi-Oh! I'm cool with making a deck that's like at least seeming competitive but with pokemon i just want to throw in all my favorite pokemon into a deck and that is not a very meta reliant strategy next pack we have battle siren uh dorcia then we have stealth dragon me uh medaguma i'm gonna stop reading these now and then we have oh my gosh like I said, I, I am very blind. Cannot read these. Back to my face. We have Elbard X Striker. So I'll just read the shiny ones from now on. I think the rest of them are just triggers. Also, fun fact for anyone. Um, you can build a deck out of a couple booster boxes, but you will probably need to pick up a starter deck. Um, in order to actually complete a deck, because you do need those 16 triggers. And most uh, booster sets only come with uh, one trigger for each clan. Next one. Oh, we got one of the Easter ones. Hopefully Gabby likes this one. Um, It is Holy Egg Festival uh, Perix Committee Chief Clarissa. It's one of the triple rares. Next pack. Try to speed up some of the parts where I'm not talking to. Oh, we got one of... We got a front trigger this time. Runseed Harris. I think this one is one of the ones that I remember... From V series, maybe. And we got another Easter girl with a uh, Trimural of maybe a uh, Trimury of Grazing Hands of uh, Roswitha or Rosewitha. Next one. I'm gonna try to keep this video under 10 minutes. Hopefully I can make that goal. Need a little quicker if I stop talking though. We have a perfect guard with a violet dragon. Oh my bad. Violet dragon. Pretty cool one. down to the last two packs, and I seem to have one card sleeve left. Sorry guys, I'm getting another package of sleeves. I do buy my colored ones in bulk. I would do the penny sleeves, I just, I feel like they're kind of a poor quality. Got another stealth dragon trigger, demonic stone dragon jewel kneel, and then we have another shiny trigger section magic. And the last pack. We got another shiny trigger and another Easter girl with 
perfect tailoring uh, Crokel. That seems to be it for these guys. I need two of these. But in the comments, let me know if you guys actually enjoy the festival uh, boosters. I think I prefer the 2021 one with, eh, to me, I feel like it's worth a little bit more of my time or money, I guess, if all the cards are hollow in it, especially if you're trying to like max out a deck. Well, max rarity. Sorry. But these are the shiny cards we got. And then, um, really, Common Prince and Vanguard are kind of boring in my opinion. There's nothing wrong with them, but they have one of the best foilings, in my opinion, for any card game out there. Especially, like, this guy's a good example because he has a lot of detail in his actual artwork. But to me, the foiling in the background of his picture actually makes him pop, even though it's all very dark. This one, I think, kind of is a little hit or miss. Like I said, this is just super dark. And the last. But if you guys did enjoy that, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and then let me know what other card packs you guys would like to see open. Um, as I've said many times before, I don't really play that many card games in my free time, but I do collect a good majority of them. Um, we do have, uh, I did pick up some of the One Piece starter decks. If you guys are interested in seeing those guys opened or played, gone through, really doesn't matter to me. Oh, it does look like a fun game to play, but that's it for today, and I'll see you all next time. Bye everyone.